cyber criminals and ransomware are running rampant. So we are bringing in a top expert to tell us what to do. Joining me now is Zohar Benhasi, and he is the founder and CEO of Monster Cloud. Pleasure to have you on the show today. Same here, thank you so much. So how big of a problem is this so-called ransomware? Ransomware is currently the biggest um, IT threat out there. Um, the ransomware, the way that it works is, it's actually a type of virus that you get uh, through an infected email, or sometimes those criminals, they will infect a website that you visit. As soon as you click it, um, your files are actually immediately gets encrypted, and your data is being held ransom. How do you know that this is about to happen to you? How do you tell the good sites from the bad? Um, you can't really tell. Unfortunately, most of the times um, the virus would actually be getting your, to your computer through an email and that's pretty much how it works. Tell us who's behind this. Uh, based on the study that we actually made, um, this usually the criminals are originating uh, from Russia, Eastern Europe. That's where the, the problem starts. And these cyber criminals are getting very rich. How are they doing that and how much do you think they're making? Um, based on the FBI numbers, uh, only for, in the first quarter it was $250 million. The only problem is that based on what we saw, only a small percentage is actually being reported to the FBI. Which means that by the end of 2016, based on their numbers, it would be around $1 billion. However, based on, our, based on the research that we conducted, I would say that this, this number should be much higher and I would say around the three to four billion if you add the business loss and the people that haven't reported and so on and so on. Are there certain groups or businesses or individuals that the ransomware criminals are going after and targeting? Um, it really all depends. Um, if, if you're talking about, usually what they do, they will actually send out a mass email um, and they'll try to catch whatever they can using phishing attacks. Sometimes if it's um, more targeted, it's called spear phishing uh, in social engineering and uh, it would be very targeted. This is basically um, being used, essentially the businesses that are being targeted are um, any business, any, any business and residential, any um, government agency, um, hospitals, banks, it's pretty much all over the place. Could you give us an example of what one of these emails might look like? I know I received one not too long ago that looked suspicious to me, so I deleted it, but what have you seen out there? Um, those criminals, they become very, very, very um, sophisticated over time, mm -hmm. which means that uh, in the past they were not just even asking, in the past they were actually asking for money only. Right now it's not just money. The way that it works is if you're not going to pay us, we will actually leak those files out to the internet. Oh. So they're going to hurt the reputation of the business. That's pretty much how it works. And hold it for ransom. Mm -hmm. How do you protect yourself from this? So much is going up to the cloud right now. It's scary. Yeah, first of all, backup. The first thing that I would recommend is to make sure that you have a local backup and an off-site backup. Because as soon as, the f as soon as you actually get hit by ransomware, your local files and any file on your network will actually be infected. That would be immediately. That would be, backup would be the first thing. The second, so if you're business, you go down immediately because 100%. You, if you don't have that backup. That is correct. And, and the second, only way you will be able to receive your files back is to pay. However, <sighs> however, when it comes to paying, we do not recommend that. If you can get infected, the only thing you will need to do the way that we see it and you should do is actually go and talk to a cybersecurity person. Second would be education. Um, education is the key actually to, to stopping this kind of attack. As soon as you get those um, emails, as you, you asked, mm -hmm. um, they look like an email that came from the bank. Don't take any email that you, ca that you take, I'm sorry, don't take any email that you get as, uh, for its face value. Uh, always check what you get or what you double click or something like that. Okay, well good to have you on the show and, and I hope that we can get ahead of this but it sounds like it's going to be a very tough issue that's going to last a long time. That is correct. Um, the way that we see it, the ultimate solution would actually be to a cloud computing 
platforms such as Monster Cloud or any other cloud computing company because usually the way that it works when it comes to cloud computing you have a group of security experts that are always constantly monitoring the activity of the network and making sure that you're completely safe. Thank you so much for coming on our show today. Thank you.